hello, my name is Armand Sohail and I, I like cars. <laughs> Memories from a young kid about a car, or your first memory of your favorite car. Um, I don't know. I mean, I didn't really get into cars until like probably my junior year of high school, because that's when all my friends were getting into it, and that's when I was able to like finally appreciate like what cars are and what they do and how fun they can be, because. When you're a kid, you can't really drive a car. And I always thought that like, that was kind of annoying. And so when my friends were just starting to get their permits and everything, sophomore year, I just remember them all talking about cars and I'm just like, man, I don't really care about that. And then like junior, senior year came around and I was able to drive and I'm like, oh, these things are cool. And the main thing that, the main one that I saw uh, was. So could you help me for a moment? Uh, All right. What's up? Um, would you happen to have about five or ten dollars? Uh, it's for my wife's hotel bill, please. Maybe uh, five dollars. Yeah, I got you. Right. I don't care. Here you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Um. All right. Where were we? Talking about appreciating cars. Oh, yeah. Um. Um. So. Yeah. Junior year, I was at P.F. Chang's, and I saw this really cool car drive by, and I didn't really know anything about cars, and so I was kind of like, "Yo, like, what was that?" And. Then I saw it again when I walked towards the mall and it was a Nissan GTR, an R35. And I thought that thing was pretty cool looking. And I was like, man, I, I, I kind of want to get one of those. Um, and then one of my buddies got a Subaru WRX Hawkeye wagon and that thing was pretty neat too. And so I was like, hmm, that is another thing that I want to get. And so I went and did research on Subarus and figured out that the best way to get to one where it's the most reliable is buy a new one. So I got a new car and paid that off, worked my way, pay for it and now it just looks cool and yeah. Who taught you the most about cars? Um, probably my buddy uh, Drew taught me the most about cars. Uh, he's the one that really kind of got me into modifying it and like show cars and everything. Cause I just thought like, yo, like stock cars are pretty cool. And then he showed me that like modifying it, having lowered cars, um, fast cars are really fun and it's really cool. And yeah, he's the he's the one that definitely got me into it. And yeah, the reason my car probably looks like the reason the way that it is now. What modifications have you done so far? Um, so so far for the exterior wise, we have a front bumper that's imported from Japan. It's called the Ings Inspec. Um, so that one's pretty cool. 
I have BC Extreme Low coilovers with a 50k spring rate uh, springs, so then I can be low and not risk like having the spring compressed too much that the lip of my wheel hits the fender or the quarter panel. Um, I have a wrapped my roof black to make it look cooler and low profile. Uh, I have uh, upgraded C lights for my headlights that are called from Mishimoto. Um, and I have a, oh, I have a 7K Ultra wheels that are 18 by nine and a half plus 13 offset uh, with a 225-35-18 tire. And um, I think that's about it for exterior. For engine wise, I have um, cold air intake by Perrin, a ETS front mount intercooler, a Perrin turbo inlet, a Boomba bypass valve, a full NVIDIA turbo back straight pipe exhaust, and that is it for the engine. And then for interior, I basically have I have a 25% tint on the front and then 5% tint on the sides and then I have a quick release steering wheel. And yeah. This fucking bullshit, man. Just Like, not fucking on there. <laughs> and I um I don't know. I think just going fast is a lot better than looking slow. But I also don't want to get a lot of tickets for speeding, so that's my um, my dilemma right now, where if I build it to be fast, then I'd want to go fast, and um, and if I build it to be stanced, then I don't really want to drive it as much. So I'm trying to find like a good in between, which I think a track setup would do it. Is there any advice you would give someone who's just getting into cars? Um, don't cheap out on parts because you're gonna have to replace it one day or another. Um, if you're modifying your car and you like it and someone comes up to you and says that they don't like it, it doesn't really matter about their opinion. Uh, it's your build, do whatever you wanna do. Um, just try to be nice to everyone and don't be a, a butthole. Um, it's like, the car community is pretty cool. Some guys are just buttholes, but a lot of people are really chill and you can meet a lot of cool people and like going to shows and stuff is really fun. Definitely try and just go to shows and talk to all the people that have like the cool cars and stuff and then just ask them what they've done and some people are just, they don't want to talk, some people do want to talk and yeah, then you'll just like find out what to do and also just like do a lot of research before buying stuff because if you don't do your research then something could just go wrong. Anything else you want to add? No, but that guy just, I just gave him five bucks. I don't know where he went. <laughs> so.